The lured sets of Gen 2 Pokemon are really bad. Outside of even the starters, Crobat gets no poison moves, Misdreavus learns no ghost moves, Steelix learns no steel moves, and it's issues like these that plague over half the Pokemon in Crystal. So today we're going through Gen 2 Pokemon and updating their learn sets as part of making the ultimate Crystal ROM hack. We're going to begin with the starters, and first off we have the Fireline. Cyndaquil originally got Ember at level 12, which always felt really late. You usually wouldn't get this move until about Azalea Town, and it's really annoying to not have a stab move relying on Tackle for your strongest Pokemon at the time. To fix this, we're going to bump Ember back to level 7, so players can have a stab move for Sprout Tower and the first gym. Kulava will also be learning the move Flame Wheel slightly earlier, from 27 to now 24, and getting Defense Curl at 16. There's kind of just a giant gap in its learn set, so I wanted to throw something that wasn't too important there. But most importantly, however, Typhlosion will now get Flame flamethrower at level 38. You might be thinking, whoa, isn't that a little early? And to that I ask you, is Crocona getting its equivalent water move Surf at level 20 in Ecruteak City early? Yes! Yes, it is. Putting Flamethrower that early would be weird, but to give things at least a little more balance, Typhlosion will get Flamethrower at 38 now, which should line up for the 7th gym. It will also get Fire Blast at 50, now 5 levels earlier. Speaking of the Water Croc, with access to moves like Rage, Slash, Surf, Ice Punch, and especially Bite now that Dark is physical, these guys are in a pretty good place. With such great coverage, they really don't need any big tweaks. The only change we're going to make to the Totodile line is it learning Water Gun at level 6. 7 instead of 12 now. Similar to Ember on Cyndaquil, I always found it really frustrating choosing Totodile and not having Water Gun for Union Cave. Now, Toto would normally learn Rage at level 7, but this move is absurdly strong. It kind of destroys the early game, so I decided to push it back to learn it at level 12 so that you won't have it for the first gym. Now lastly, for Alligator will get Hydro Pump at level 50, and we've decided to add the dark move Crunch for it at level 55. But lastly, and most importantly, we gotta make some big changes to the Chikorita line. There have been a lot of requests to buff Chikorita, and this is the only way that feels right. Like, we don't want to change its stats, but giving Chikorita access to tons of cool grass moves will let it shine as much as it can in the Johto region. What I'm saying is to keep in mind that no matter what we do, the Johto gym leaders are set up to cause any grass types pain. Now with our gym leader fixes, there are more Pokemon that Chikorita can cover, but even with these changes, it will still be the worst, which I suppose is fitting. To begin, Chikorita will learn Razor Leaf one level earlier at seven, but more importantly, we're going to give it access to Leech Seed at level nine. This was always such a staple move for Bulbasaur, and despite getting early Razor Leaf, Chikorita always suffered without a utility move like this. It learns Reflect at level 12, but without Leech Seed, I felt like it could never really do much with it. Another move that helped Bulbasaur was Sleep Powder. Chikorita only gets Poison Powder, which is really the worst of the Grass Powder trio, but with access to Sleep Powder at 15, this will give it additional utility as a Grass type. And yet still, however, this is not enough. Johto is merciless to the grass line, and one reason was that it especially fell off in the mid-game, since it got no additional grass moves. Totodile gets Surf, Cyndaquil's fire moves slowly get better, and Chikorita into Bayleaf is just stuck with Razor Leaf for the entire game. Now, however, Bayleaf is getting the buffed 275 base power draining move, Giga Drain. This again is to continue to help with its designated role as a tanky sapping Pokemon. And now lastly, Meganium. It would originally learn Solar Beam at 61. One, meaning this move really only existed for your red fight. Now, however, it's going to learn Solar Beam at level 40. And to pair with that, it will get Sunny Day at 45, so Solar Beams can go off without a charge turn. All in all, this might seem like a lot of changes, but I promise you, it's balanced. Gen 2 is so oppressive to grass types that even with these changes, Meganium will still be the bottom starter. But at least now, Meganium is the standout grass type. So I wanted to really give you guys a full explanation for the starters. Uh, I don't have time to do that for every single Pokemon. We're going to go through the rest of the Pokemon by type, starting with normal, ending with dragon, and lastly looking at changes to the legendaries. With access to the move anyway through TM, Furret is now going to learn Headbutt at level 18, but I wanted to give a little more to the furry friends, so we've given it Dig at level 28. Next up is Togepi, who's going to learn Return at 11, while Togetic will get Wing Attack at 27. Dunsparce was also in need of some fixes, so we've given it Dig at 15, and then Body Slam at level 30. 
33, Apom is getting Slash at 33, while Ursaring gets Snore at 34 and Submission at 45. Eevee's now going to learn Bite at level 20, while it will learn Baton Pass at level 30. Gramble will get Crunch at 39 and Thrash at 44. Kangaskhan will get Body Slam at level 40, while Lickitung will get it at 37. Miltank will get Hyper Beam at 58 to consolidate Miltank supremacy. And the big set of changes are for Stantler, who will be getting Stomp at 13, Pursuit at 23, Confuse Ray at 31, and Dream Eater at 49. Now next up we have Bug. I don't want to add a million moves to every Pokemon because that would kind of make it feel less like Crystal. So I'm trying to be very sparing where I'm really just giving Pokemon like a stab move here and there where it needs it. So we have Butterfree learning Leech Life at level 12, Venonat learning it at level 13, Spinarak gets it at level 9, and then Twin Needle which has been buffed to do 70 damage at 18. Ariados is going to get Spiderweb at 33 now, while Psychic is going to come earlier at 43. Yanma is going to get Wing Attack at 19, Twin Needle at 25, and 30 will be Twister to just show off that it is a Dragonfly after all. Pineco Self Destruct is at 25 now. Pinsir is going to get the buffed Rock Smash at 15, Twin Needle at 25, and Sword Stance will come earlier at 43. For those of you that missed the changes to moves video, Scyther is going to get the upgraded cut at 16. This is now a 100% accurate 50 base power bug move that has a high crit chance. And lastly of the bugs, Heracross is going to get Pin Missile at level 5, Rock Smash at 19, Twin Needle at 20. 26. Megahorn will now come at 45, and we've also given it Cross Chop at 50. Heracross was always sick, yet suffered from having no good moves, so now it is in a very good place. Now next up we have three unconditional flyers. For the most part, the birds are in a good space, but Noctowl was one that was lacking. It's gonna get Psybeam at 20, Wing Attack at 36, Future Sight at 40, and Dream Eater at 47. The next unconditional flyer is Gyarados. I thought about making stat buffs, and ultimately it came down to instead giving it better moves. Gyarados is going to get Bite at 20, but more importantly, we're giving it Gust at this level as well. It's not strong, but it is nice to just have a whatever stab move. More importantly though, I've decided to let Gyarados learn Fly. This is the only other good flying move that makes sense for it. I mean, as we've seen in RCS Legends, Gyarados literally flies through the air, so it feels okay, and this gives Gyarados a pretty decent flying stab move. The other non-traditional flyer is Mantine, now learning Wing Attack at 30, Agility at 40 and Miracote at 45. From here, we're moving on to Poison, starting with Muck learning Sludge Bomb at 38. Similarly, Weezing will be learning it at 35, while Crobat will be getting it at 36. Tentacruel will be getting it at 42, while both Nidal King and Nidal Queen will learn it at 32. The Nidal Kings are also going to learn Magnitude at 27. Their movesets are tragic. This should help. And lastly, of the Poison types, we have Quillfish learning Bubble at 1, Water Gun at 15, Sludge at 22, Protect at 32, and Toxic at 36. Lore-wise, Toxic was invented by ninjas, but I like the idea that there is one Pokemon that developed it naturally, and that would be Quillfish. Anyway, from here, we're moving on to Rock types. And this is where things get tragic. Rhyhorn and Rhydon learned no ground or rock moves in this game. To fix that, Rhyhorn is going to learn Rock Throw at 19 or an Earthquake at 39, and Rhydon is going to be learning Rock Slide at 44. Onyx is another tragic case. Now, I mean, his attack is no good anyway, but I figured giving him some good moves will at least help for when you get Steelix. So Rock Throw at 12, Dig at 18, 30 Rock Slide, and 40 Earthquake. For the Fossils, Omnite will get Water Gun at seven, Rock Throw at 14, while Kabuto will get seven Rock Throw at 14 Water Gun, and both will learn Ancient Power at level 30. Speaking of the fossils, Aerodactyl is going to actually get Rock Slide. They literally gave it to Lance's Aerodactyl illegally. When you have to illegally buff the enemy, that is when you know you messed up. Justice for Aerodactyl. Up next, we have Sudowoodo at 32, Feign Attack, and Thrash at 46. Slugma will get Rock Throw at 15, and Macargo is going to get Flamethrow at 36, Rock Slide at 41, and Body Slam at 46. Quagsire was always a decent Pokemon, and its learn set really made it stand above the rest. To double down on that, it just learns Earthquake now at 33. Fanfy, though, is another Pokemon that kind of reminds me of Rhyhorn. This line learns no ground moves until a very late 
Earthquake. So to fix that, Fanfi will get Mudslap at 7, Magnitude at 15, while Dotfan is going to get Earthquake at level 40. Pile of Swine is going to learn Icy Wind at 33 and Earthquake at 39, and Gligar is going to get Wing Attack at 32 and Earthquake at 38. Now, the only other fighter I currently have a change for is Hitmonchan, learning Dynamic Punch at 42. Uh, I kind of want to do some more justice for the Hitmons, but I don't really know what to do. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know. Also, subscribe. Now, for ghost types, Ghastly is a literal poison cloud that learns no poison moves. To remedy this, we're going to give it Smog at level 6. Gengar will also learn Shadow Ball through level up at 36. Now, fire types are one area that really suffered in Johto. Outside of Typhlosion and Magmar, there's basically no access to them. While Ponyta is a bit later, it's going to get Ember at 11, Flame Wheel at 20, and now Flamethrower at 37. Flareon is going to learn Flamethrower at 36 and Fire Blast at 52, while Houndour is getting Bite at 20, Houndoom is getting Flame Wheel at 24, and Flamethrower at 39. Also Crunch at 48. Now, for water types, we have quite a few changes. We've got Kingler getting another physical attacking move, Metal Claw, at 28. Staryu is going to learn Light Screen at 27, while Starmie, always done so dirty. Psychic type learning no psychic moves. It's going to get Psychic at level 40. Speaking of psychic types learning no psychic moves, Golduck will now get psychic at 42. Vaporeon will get Bubble Beam at 26 and Acid Armor at 41. Azumarill will get Rain Dance at 40. We did a lot for Politoed, giving it Rain Dance at 30, Body Slam at 32, 35 Parish Song, 36 Ice Beam, 40 Light Screen, and 45 Hydro Pump. Corsola is going to get Ancient Power at 18, Spikes at 23, and an earlier Hydro Pump at 50. I should also mention, because it wasn't in the stats video, Corsola has been given 10 HP defense and special defense to reflect its current day stats. Moving on to grass types. Hopip is an early Pokemon you never use because it has Splash. I don't get this one. It, it really does not make sense. To remedy this, Hopip is going to get Gus at level 1, because uh, obviously. On top of that, Skip Bloom will get Protect at 23, while Jump Bluff gets Mega Drain at 27, and Giga at 36. Gloom is going to get Giga Drain at 29. Execute will get it at 30. Tangela is going to get Mega Drain at 22 with 36 Giga Drain, and Sunkern is going to get Razor Leaf at 15 with Sunflora learning Solar Beam at 36 and Giga Drain at 42. But next up, we have the electric types. Pretty much every electric type in Gen 2 is bad because it doesn't learn a strong electric move. Magnemite gets Thundershock and Zap Cannon. So to remedy this, it'll get Spark at 25 and Magneton will get Thunderbolt at 37. This is actually another one of those instances where Magneton doesn't actually learn Thunderbolt, but Jasmine's have it because again, it was just so bad without it. Now Voltorb is in an even worse place as it did not learn a single electric move. So to remedy this, we're going to give it Spark at 19 and Thunder at 40. Lantern is another Pokemon that just got Spark and that was basically it. So we've given it Thunderbolt for 35. Electabuzz did get Thunderbolt, but now it's 42 with Thunder at 52. Ampharos is going to get Thunderbolt at 47 and Jolteon is going to get it at 36. Literally just everyone basically gets Thunderbolt. As for the Ice types, we're following kind of a similar trend with Dugong getting Ice Beam at 40 and Shelter getting it at 37. Lapras is going to get Icy Wind at 20, while Sneasel gets Icy Wind at 20, Ice Punch at 33, and Metal Claw at 38. Eight. Now, Psychic types, despite having some really strong Pokemon, were surprisingly in need of updated movesets. So to begin, both Slowking and Slowbro are going to get Psychic at 45 now, while Slowking will get Future Sight at 50. Hypno is going to get Psychic at 42. Jinx will start with Confusion and get Psychic at 39. Unknown, kind of a lesser thought of Pokemon, is going to get Ancient Power to rival Hidden Power at level 1. It's not a huge change, but the one thing that this does accomplish is it gives you a reliable rock user for the first two gyms. Zatu is a Pokemon that's seeing some big changes. Before, it had no psychic moves, really, until Psychic at 65. To remedy this, we're going Psybeam at 25, Recover at 30, Psychic at 35, and Future Sight at 45. Similarly, Girafferig is going to get Psybeam at 21, Psychic at 41, and Crunch at 46. And finally, we have Espeon. Poor Espeon. It's so cool. It's a new Pokemon, and I always just felt like there wasn't a lot you could really do for this guy. With 
ghost type going over to special shadow ball on Espeon is going to be really nice. So the only other changes we did is Psybeam at 28, Swift at 30, and Psychic now at 36. Now, similarly, I feel like Umbreon is in the same place. Very tanky, but didn't have access to crazy moves. To remedy this, Feint Attack has been buffed to 70 base power. And since it didn't feel like a Pokemon that could get crunch, I decided to give it Curse at 38. I know it's not the perfect move for it, but I think it will help double down on it being tanky. Speaking of dark types, we have Murkrow getting Drill Pack at 36 now. A uh, single change really will put Murkrow in a much better spot. And lastly for dark types, we have the Larvitar line. Larvitar is going to get Rock Throw at 8, Sandstorm at 11, and Rock Slide at 30. One. Pupitar will get Rock Slide at 40, Crunch at 50, and finally, we decided to just give Tyranitar Earthquake at 55. Perhaps I'm being too bold, but I don't know. You were probably going to teach it that anyway. Now, moving on to the Steel types. Pineco, who is not Steel, is going to get the move Pin Missile at level 9. For those that didn't watch the move video, we've actually turned Spike Cannon into a Steel move. 100% accuracy steel move, it'll do 40 to 100 damage, very solid and kind of actually consistent, I guess, and fitting for a Pokemon like Fortress. And lastly, we have Skarmory, who, like all these Pokemon, was really cool, but just in a bad place due to no good moves. We've given it Steel Wing at 31, Drill Pick at 41, and it feels great now. Now, second to last, we have the Dragons. Dragon Rage Dratini is not a huge issue, but it's still kind of a thing. We push that back a bit so it gets it at 26, while Dragonair is going to get Outrage at 50 rather than before where it was like 60 five on Dragonite. And lastly, Kingdra is going to learn Dragon Breath through level up at 36. And finally, we're going to finish up with our legendaries. Now to begin, Zapdos is going to learn Thunderbolt at 50 now, since it never actually learned it previously. While I love that it gets Drill Pack, it's just really stupid that they also wouldn't give it Thunderbolts. Now, Moltres already learns its equivalent of Flamethrower, but it will now be getting Fire Blast at 74. More importantly, though, will be the Legendary Beasts. The movesets of our kitty friends are rough. So basically to fix this, what we've done is we've actually removed Roar. That should make your life a little bit easier. And now Raikou is going to get Thunderbolt at 31 and it will get Crunch at 41. Entei will get Flamethrow at 31 with also Crunch at 41. Now Suicune is going to get Surf from you. So we obviously don't need to give it a good water move. And instead I decided to give it Ice Beam at 31. Suicune doesn't really feel like a Crunch learner. So it's going to get its Reflect at 41. Now it's not definitive how yet, but Celebrate is going to be in this game. We've changed up its move set quite a bit. It'll get Mega Drain at level 20, Ancient Power at 25, Psybeam at 30, Giga Drain at 35, Psychic at 40, Baton Pass at 50, Future Sight at 55, and Parish Song at 60. Now, lastly, one of my biggest gripes of Crystal. If you want to play the definitive version of Gen 2, you have to get Lugia and Ho-Oh with Oat, their signature moves. What an absolute slap to the face. So to remedy this, we didn't make a lot of changes, but Lugia is gonna get Aeroblast at 33, Ho-Oh's gonna get it at 63, and they will still have it when you meet them at level 60. Guys, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.